with the unlocker.com and today we're here with the Asus ePad transformer and we're going to show you an easy way to both root your device and load a custom recovery all without having to touch a computer. Alright so we are going to be using a uh, couple of posts uh, made at XDA for this for this video so if we jump into our browser here I've already got the uh, pages loaded up. The first one uh, is an app that will root our device. It's a one-click root by Raymond84 and it's called Razor Claw. And uh, this is a very simple way. I mean there's no connecting to a computer, there's no flashing, anything. You install an application and you're good to go. So uh, down here he's got a download link. Uh, this should work with all uh, Asus Transformers. Um, it may not work with some of the newer ones that have a serial number of B70 or above because uh, Asus has kind of beefed up their security on those uh, later models, but for the majority of people this should work. So you can go ahead and give it a try. There's not going to be any harm done if it doesn't work for you and you just might have to root with a different method where uh, you do have to hook up to a computer. But uh, So go ahead and download that file there, that Razor Claw application and then we're going to look at the recovery and this is uh, made by a guy named I believe it's New Fabio or New Fabio and he produces the revolver ROM for the transformer which is a really nice ROM so once you get uh, once you get rooted and you get recovery on there you might want to check his ROM out so uh, we're going to go ahead and download uh, his application as well and this is just another simple application uh, which will install clockwork mod recovery uh, doesn't get much easier than this guys so uh, really uh, pretty simple so thank you very much to the uh, original posters for making you know root so easy when I first got my transformer uh, you know we had to hook to the computer and we had to jump through a couple of different hoops to be able to just to get root access now the fact that you can do it in one click is definitely nice uh, the next thing we're going to do now that we have those files downloaded um, is we need to go into our system settings and we need to make sure that we're allowed to install uh, those applications. So if we click on the application tab, over here you'll see unknown sources. We do want to make sure that is checkmarked. That way we can install these applications we just downloaded. And while we're in there, I always make sure my debugging is on. So just that way if I run into problems, I can always connect it to my computer and ADB. And uh, that'll help me out. So anyway, now that we've got that done, Let's go ahead here. We'll also we'll also go just to show you settings about tablet. And you can see the build number is 8.6.5.19, which is definitely supported and it's the latest version of the stock Asus ROM. So now what we can do is we can go to our files. We'll go to our file manager here. And you can see we've got the Razor Claw 101. Uh, APK and the recovery installer APK. Now we're going to go ahead and install one of one of these at a time and we'll kind of walk you through that process and show you how easy it is. Alright, starting with the Razor Claw, go ahead and just click on this application. Uh, you'll see that little logo come up there. If you don't see the logo or it won't install, you probably don't have the latest version of the ASUS uh, software and you do need the latest uh, ASUS ROM to be able to run this. I've tried running it on previous versions and you'll get a parsing error when you try to install this package. So go ahead and click install and then click open and it simply says up at the top here welcome to Razor Claw this is a one click root installer for the ASUS transformer and then root me now and if you click that link there it's already done I mean, that's that's pretty quick you can see down here already successfully rooted your device and that's that's pretty quick I mean a one-click root that takes all of two seconds that's pretty good so uh, now you could obviously test this out by uh, downloading an app that requires root access like titanium backup go ahead and download that from the Android market and uh, also you, at this point in time you would need to install uh, the super user application so when you go to the uh, market go ahead and search for super user and then download that and then you can uh, download any any application you know uh, root explorer or uh, titanium backup anything that typically requires root access to run uh, but now what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the second app which is for our recovery software so let's go into 
back into our file manager and then we'll go to recovery installer go ahead and install this application and then we'll go ahead and launch it and another very simple interface here and it's just one button click to flash recovery go ahead and click that button uh, it does ask for super user requests so uh, actually uh, I kinda contradict myself there you don't need to install super user uh, it looks like the uh, the one click root automatically installs the super user app for you which is nice so go ahead and click allow there and then it's going to reboot and it's going to flash the recovery using the stock ASUS recovery so you'll see when it comes up here in a second nope that's it it's already done that flashed pretty quick so we'll wait till this boots back up and then we'll boot back into recovery and show you what that looks like alright so we booted back up and I just wanted to show you here uh, we do have the super user app right there um, I haven't downloaded that from the market in fact I'm not even uh, logged into the market on this device so uh, that's really quick and easy now we'll go ahead and root into or go into recovery to do this just press and hold your power key power off your device and then when it comes back up we're simply going to press and hold our down key and our volume down key and then we're going to press and hold the uh, power button at the same time hold it for about three seconds and then when it comes on you can let go and now press up and that'll take you into recovery and now you can see we've got uh, clockwork mod recovery loaded on our device so we're now rooted and we've got uh, clockwork uh, on and, and instead of our uh, ASUS recovery and we are ready to uh, to ROM this thing up and make any tweaks or whatever you want to do to it but uh, right now you're good to go so that's it guys uh, pretty simple doesn't get much easier than that like I said uh, we will be doing a couple more videos on this uh, so stay tuned for that uh, if you want to watch the next video we'll show you how to apply a uh, custom ROM to this device and uh, you can see what some of the tweaks and uh, benefits of having a custom ROM are. Thanks a lot guys, see you next time.